A bachelor degree in business administration and digital management gives you an understanding of how companies work with digitalization and data in all areas of their operations and development. But what are your options during and after the program, and what kind of career path might it lead to? Now, during the third year of study, you have the first opportunity to begin shaping your own academic and professional profile. All of the fifth semester consists of elective courses which you choose yourself. So if, for example, you have developed a particular interest in, say, marketing or strategy, then you would probably mostly choose electives within one of those two fields. Or maybe you would choose to learn more about a combination of two topics that interest you. Similarly, in the sixth and final semester, you write your concluding bachelor project. Here you can choose a topic for the project which fits with your interest and your ideas about the career path you may want to pursue. After the three-year bachelor program, nearly all students continue to do a two-year master's program. Some students focus more on the traditional business side of things, while others focus more on digitalization, and of course some will continue to combine the two perspectives. For all, it's very much through your studies at master's level that you shape your own academic profile and specialize within those fields that you want to work with in your career. So definitely, we can't speak of typical types of jobs that business administration and digital management leads to. In fact, the majority of graduates will most likely end up in jobs that don't even exist today. Job functions relating to business digitalization and data are constantly evolving, and the field continues to grow. What we can say is this. Your future options are very dependent on the choices you make during the bachelor program, and even more so on the specialization you make at master's level. Some will work in companies that specialize in digital solutions, others will work in more traditional companies, and yet others will work in other types of organizations. Studying doesn't just mean following courses and passing exams. It's an active process where you need to think about what you're learning, where you see yourself in the future, and how you should focus and specialize along the way in order to get there.